everybody! It's day seven of VEDA, and since yesterday I talked about some of my favorite words, um, I thought I would continue in the theme of my favorite things and show you some of my favorite nerdy things that I have. And I think I want to start off with my wand. I love this wand. Um, it was hand carved by my friend Philip, and I won it at the uh, Crystal Ball in 2011, which is an annual HP Ohio event. All the attendees can put their names in the Goblet of Fire, and then they pull three champions out of the Goblet of Fire, and they win wands. And I won the Bobatons wand, and I think it's just beautiful, and I love it so much. Continuing in the Bobatons vein, um, another one of my favorite nerdy items is the beautiful Bobatons dress that my mom made for me um, back in September for another HP Ohio event. Um, we had a special day at a castle that's uh, here in Ohio near Cincinnati and um, we had people dressed up as characters and we had so many families with kids come and my friend Jenny and I um, each had Bobatons dresses made. Her friend Anne um, worked out a pattern for us and uh, we did the dance and it was so much fun and I love this costume and hopefully I'll be wearing it at LeakyCon this summer at some point. Another one of my favorite uh, nerdy things that I own um, is this t-shirt from T-Fury. They sold it right before uh, Christmas last year. It was The design is called Doctor Whoville and you've got all 11 doctors dressed like Who's and then you've got K-9 as Max there with the TARDIS in the middle. And I don't own that much Doctor Who stuff, um, even though I've been a Doctor Who fan for about a year and a half, almost a year and a half now. Um, so this is, this is one, of the, one of the few Doctor Who things that I have, and I really love it. This is something that I just got um, really recently. It's a Dobby Lego keychain. Um, and uh, one of my very best friends lives in Illinois, and she and her husband um, went to the Mall of America in Minnesota recently. And they went to the Lego store, and she got me this. Um, and so I, I love him because not only do I love Dobby, but I miss Mel, and um, he makes me think of her. This is another thing that I have that I'm very proud to own. It looks like a normal Sharpie, but it was, in fact, used by John Green for signing copies of The Fault in Our Stars. Um, and I thought it would have been really cool if the, my copy of The Fault in Our Stars was signed in silver, but mine's green. I, I felt kind of weird about buying this when they had this as one of the things that you could, um, you could get through the DFTBA record store during Project for Awesome this year. But then I thought, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's a concrete thing. It's a concrete piece of Nerdfighteria history. Um, I tend to think of Nerdfighteria as this great civilization that hopefully will someday become legend around the world or whatever. Um, but the thing is, most of Nerdfighteria's awesomeness takes place online, and there aren't that many, you know, tangible pieces of history that, that we're creating, and so, uh, so I went ahead and bought the Sharpie, and I, I really like it. I'm glad I have it. This is something that my sister made for me. It's a little Ravenclaw hat, and I love it. Um, my sister got really into making hats last year after we saw um, some of the little decorated witch hats that were available at LeakyCon. And so she made a whole bunch of them, um, and she's planning to open an Etsy store um, possibly this summer if she can get some more stuff made and actually have the time to set it up. But um, she made this for me, and I love it because I'm a Ravenclaw purist, and I hate that they changed it to blue and silver for the movie because silver is a Slytherin color and Ravenclaw should be blue and bronze, and so I adore this hat. This is another recent acquisition. Um, this is a Nerf gun, um, and uh, a bunch of friends and I uh, got together for the Hunger Games premiere, and uh, we got dressed up and we were all bloodied and bruised and all of that, and some of us uh, decorated Nerf guns um, to be like real guns like you might find in the Hunger Games if they let the tributes have guns. I don't think they'd let the tributes have guns because the deaths would be too quick and it wouldn't be any fun for the capital to watch. Um, and we learned how to uh, take them apart so that you don't get the insides all gunky and you spray paint them and decorate them and then you have to put them all back together and pray to God that they work. Um, we did what we did five guns and four of the ones that we did uh, worked. Um, and so we've got my sister designed this awesome capital logo here. We've got it on both sides. 
and uh, it was really fun. And we thought the movie theater might not like us bringing um, Nerf guns in, but they didn't have a problem with it. Nobody said anything to us about it, so I'm quite proud of this. So there you have it. Uh, those are some of my favorite nerdy items uh, that I have right now. Um, and if you have anything really cool that you're really proud of, um, that you're really something that you're really glad to own, um, share it with me either in the comments or leave a video response or maybe in your own beta video you can uh, talk about some really cool things that you have. Um, I hope you're all having a great day. If you're celebrating Easter or Passover or anything this weekend, um, I hope you have wonderful celebrations, and I will see you tomorrow.